Hello there, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Denny B. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time seeing my face, what's good? Thank you for being here. Mess with your girl, you know what I'm saying? If this is not your first time seeing my face, welcome back, booze. And again, this is 2021 and we taking no shorts and no losses, period. I guess you saw the title and I get a lot of questions. Well, I would say comments. And people like to hear my story about why I decided to pursue membership into Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And yeah, this your girl's story. I know when I've looked at some of these videos, because I've never actually looked at why people join the orgs, because it's never been like a thing in my head. Um, and that's funny because... I'm not talking about current members. I, I often ask people who are interested, especially, you know, people who are interested in Zeta. And I just like to know why, why do you want to be a Zeta? Like why? And it's so funny because I hadn't even shared my reason for why. And I never looked at any other videos about why. But for me, mine really isn't that much of a I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't look at it as if it was like a aha moment or it was so sentimental because for me it just felt like it fit. So, I grew up in a household where aka Alpha Angels, that is the thing. That was the only thing. That's all I heard about. I didn't know anything about Delta. I didn't know anything about Zeta. I didn't know anything about Sigma Gamma Rho. So, I get to college and I'm like, it's at the sororities? What? Because I didn't know. And it amazes me the things that we don't know that we don't know. So, you know, for undergrad, I went to Alverno College. Shout out. Y'all know what it is. Whew. That was the roughest, roughest first year of my life ever. Whew. Anywho, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I shout you out. That's my second home. But it was just like once I got there, I in my, in my head already was like, okay, where are the AKs at? And I didn't really see any at first. <laughs> but and I'm not saying that to sh throw any shade because once I started actually looking around, I did see that there were plenty of AKs on campus. And um, and Alverno is an all-woman school, so it's all females for the undergrad program. I don't know if it's changed, but I know like men could do a master's program there, but they could not be an undergrad student there. But yeah, so as I'm going through, you know, the motions and finding out that there are other organizations, I found out about Deltas and then I found out about Zetas. And I was like, oh, okay. And it was funny because I never ran into any Deltas. Like I didn't see any Deltas. Like I'd see maybe a flyer or two on the wall, you know, when they're letting you know what events they're having coming up and stuff like that. Because I feel like when I was going to school, it was still like um, social media wasn't as active as it is now. And it was just totally different. So you had to do a lot more footwork to figure out, you know, what they were doing, where they were doing that. You had to look around campus. You had to hopefully run into a member of an organization and be like, hi, um, yeah, do you have anything coming up? Because it is so different showing interest in undergrad than grad. And at first, I didn't think that because I was trying to come in undergrad. And then as I matriculated out of undergrad and then I started um, trying to gain membership as a grad, it was so different. Like, yeah, that's a whole nother story. And I actually should do a video about that. Well, at least my experience on showing interest as an undergrad and showing interest as a grad. But anyway. So yeah, um, like I was saying, um, so I knew the AKAs were on campus and I knew the Zetas was on campus as well. And the Zetas had a citywide chapter. And it was just, 
I don't know. I I actually, I was walking through because I was going to the um, hall to get something to eat because I always ate my little fish sandwiches when I was there on croissant. I, I miss I miss undergrad. Undergrad was fun, but that's a whole other story. Um, grad school was a whole lot of paperwork. I. Anyways, I'm sorry. I got triggered real quick. But um, as I was going to the hall to eat, I turned and I saw it was a flyer for an event and it was from the ladies of Zeta Phi Beta and it was it was a service event I can't tell you which service event it was but I was like go check them out and I ended up going to help out with the so activity I met some of the members I got to work alongside them and it's so crazy because I know there are some people who just they're like, oh, I did so much research. I did this research. I did this research. And then I'm like, I didn't do all that. I went and worked with them. It felt right. And it was just like, it felt right. So I wanted to pursue membership. And, you know, I kept showing up, going to things when I could and making sure people saw me and stuff like that. And... You know, I was really impressed at the level that they were at. And I mean, we're undergrads. Now, mind you, I was a little bit older. I was in my early, mid-20s, somewhere around there, around 22, 22, 23, somewhere around there. And I already had children. You know, I was working full-time. So it was a whole lot going on in addition to me being a non-traditional student. And I was just really impressed with the quality of events that they did. I was really impressed that they had high GPAs. I was really impressed of their reputations on campus. And it was just like, this is it. Now, of course, I didn't tell them that because I already knew from prior experience, you never tell anyone, yeah, I want to be a Zeta. You just show up. You just participate. You just donate. You just... You just do what you need to do to make sure your face is seen and people know you interested. Like, that's what it was. And I just don't have this long, drawn out, um, you know, all this soft and mushy story. I don't have that because it was just so easy for me. And let me back up because people have these stereotypes about Zeta and they be trying to act like, um, you know, they take in anybody and you know, they they take you as you are. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, I felt like I was under scrutiny. I felt like I was looked at from a, um, from a lens of we are the gatekeepers and we just not going to let anybody in just because you're interested. And that impressed me. It wasn't you show up to the informational, here's your information. Um, membership packet. It was none of that. And so that I think it was just things like that that led me to believe that's where I needed to be. I didn't need to go to nobody else informational. I didn't need to know anything about anybody else because guess what? I found it and I was going to do whatever I needed to do to make sure I became one of them. I wanted to be known on campus to be associated with those young ladies. That was my goal. And it's like, it was just so crazy how things happen and then somehow I ended up graduating early and I missed my opportunity of being able to become a member in undergrad and I was just so hurt like the things that happened but as I went on to grad I knew that still was in my heart and I knew that is something that I wanted to accomplish and I was hoping they wanted me as bad as I wanted it you know what I'm saying so I don't, I don't have a real, like, heartfelt, sentimental, oh, I'm crying. Anybody that know me a person, no, I am not mushy at all. Like, I'm a G. Like, it's just, it's what it is. But I just really appreciated the experience I had at, at first starting off in undergrad and then doing the same thing in grad and finally getting in and being able to, you know, be called a Zeta and getting just all of those things that come along with being a member 
And don't get me wrong, like I did research Zeta after I knew this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to find out about their platforms, what they stood for, you know, why are they here? And I was highly impressed. Like, everybody try to throw shade and they're like, oh, well, the AKAs were first, but there's three organizations behind them. Oh, the Deltas were second, but it's two organizations behind them. Oh, the Zetas were third, but it's an organization behind them. I don't care about stuff like that. What I care about is quality. And I think we get so tied up in names and images and, you know, what other people say that we lose sight of what connects us to things and what makes us human and what makes us feel welcome. And I knew Zeta was where I wanted to be. And I wanted that welcome, that official welcome, that you will be one of us welcome. And when I got it, it was just like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this. And it was so crazy. Cause I know people talk about when they become members, they're like, I ain't got the money. Yo, your girl was ready. I had my money ready, willing and able. Had, look, money in hand, like let's do this. I've been waiting on this. And it's just like, I don't think anything compares to that feeling to when I got invited for membership into my dream organization. And it's just like, you have to move the way you feel is right. So again, don't force anything. Like if it didn't feel right, don't try to do this just because you want some letters. Come into this organization, if you get picked, come into your organization like with fresh eyes you're open. You're like a, a, a deer caught in the headlights. You're trying to soak in all the information because guess what? It's a lot more to it than what people think. They think, oh, all you do is party and do this and, you know, you, you hang out with the Sigmas and no, we actually do more stuff than that. Like, don't get me wrong. We do be partying, but we get work done. We get service in and we build that community with our brother and sister Greeks as well. And I think the main thing that I did appreciate once I became a Zeta is the sisterhood. And I continuously get paid in dividends through that sisterhood because I've met some women who are phenomenal, who have welcomed me in, didn't know me from Jack, but because we had the same letters on our chest, they took me under their wing fed me information, groomed me into the Zeta that I am today. And I want to thank all of those Zetas, all of my sorors, all of my sisters who have been there with me on this 13-year journey and who will be there with me for a lifetime. I'm not here for a minute. I'm here for the long haul. Long haul. And I ain't going to sit up here and act like it's been all peaches and cream because guess what? It's going to be some times where you feel failed or you aren't seeing eye to eye. That's part of it. Women in general, y'all just ain't going to always get along. And you know what? I think if we all thought the same, it would be a pretty boring organization. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Oh, let me add. Coming into an established organization is something that I expected. So I don't want people to feel like, again, that stigma they put on Zeta as if we just let anybody in, come as you are. No, nah, this ain't that. We are not, we ain't Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That ain't us. And don't get me wrong. That's the point of it being a sorority. It is an exclusive organization. But we're very inclusive to those who we feel need to be included, just like every other sorority. So don't make it seem like we just take in anybody, because guess what? We want you to be who you are. You need to be who you are. Don't act like you nobody else, because guess what? We don't need no fake people, like in none of these organizations. Like you can take that fake stuff over there, and if you faking it just to make it, I think you need to not care about joining a sorority and worry about who you are on the inside. On that note, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you rock with your girl, make sure you hit me up with a subscription. Make sure you give me a like to let me know you like these kind of videos and I'll continue to make them. I'll see y'all next time.